These are the girls taking over the Windy City, the West roster for the McDonald's All-America game. UConn well represented as they always are as Brianna Banks on her way to play for the Huskies out of Fayetteville, Georgia. Huskies also have signature from the number one player in the ESPN Hoops Girls 100, Kalina Masqueda Lewis, also on her way to play for Gino and the UConn Huskies. We now welcome in Chris Hansen, who covers girls basketball for ESPNHoopGirls.com. Chris, when we look at this portion of the McDonald's All-American roster, who are some of the players that you're focused on watching? Well, Mosqueda Lewis, first off, her, her shooting and scoring ability is, is something that fans are going to love to watch. And what it's going to do is going to open things up on the inside for a player like uh, Crystal Forthan out of Georgetown, Texas. Her, her combination of size and athleticism is off the charts. She has some back-to-the-basket game, but she is simply explosive facing up, slashing. She can elevate above the rim and finish. Um, she, she gives you those highlight reel blocks and really changes the game defensively. At 6'3", 6'4", to have a, a player that can get out in transition is pretty impressive. But then on the other side, you've got Justine Hartman, a traditional five player, by far the best post finisher in the class. She's a terrific post passer out of the double team and really uh, ha has range out to 17 feet. It's no wonder her high school team, Bray Olinda, is number one passer. Well, Chris, let's go on and take a look at the East roster because we mentioned some of the great powers in college hoops and how they keep on reloading. But then you have a club like Harvard getting signature from Temi Fagbenley out of Blairstown, New Jersey, on her way to play for the Harvard Crimson. Don't see that every day in the McDonald's game. And then also moving along, you see Tennessee well represented once again with Ariel Massingale. So Tennessee, they're looking to stock up, and we see some very good players once again on the East roster. Who are you focusing on, Chris? Well, besides Massingale at the point, you've got some logic out of Wisconsin. She's going to Iowa. She is a six-foot guard with great size. She can play any perimeter position, but she just has a combination of basketball IQ, confidence, and just a natural competitiveness, and she uses her strength so well. She's got a flair for making uh, exciting passes and getting her team ready. And, and then on the other end, when you speak of flair, you've got to talk about Sierra Burdick, uh, Tennessee commit. She started out as a, as a two guard, as a, as a young player. When she moved to the four, things just changed. At, at the high post or the short corner, nobody can check this kid one-on-one. -on -one. And she just has an infectious energy on the court that, that should make for a great performance at the McDonald's game. Well, Chris, we appreciate the time. And it's now time to see if Sierra Burdick has that infectious energy on camera as well. Because here she is from Butler High School in Matthews, North Carolina. What does it mean to you just to have that label of McDonald's All-American? You know, it, it's crazy. It's, a, it's an unbelievable uh, accomplishment uh, just the fact that we're going to Chicago and playing Chicago or playing Chicago and you know my grandfather played for the Bears so just the amount of adversity that I've overcame and just the ability to go play in Chicago it's a it's a it's a great thing to do so going back to your grandfather's old stomping ground with the Chicago Bears tells you about some of those athletic bloodlines when it comes to your heart though there was a serious issue with your heart early right. on in your life open heart surgery at the age of two to think about where you came from that age to now being a McDonald's All-American what comes to mind you know um, just I had open heart surgery when I was two like you said and uh, my mom was a nervous wreck obviously <laughs> uh, like I mean so just like I said that adversity that you're able to overcome and you know you have people telling you uh, you know you're not going to be able to do it or, and there's, there's some cardiac patients you know that don't grow to be is what they were supposed to go to be obviously if they didn't have that cardiac problem and you know I'm 6'2", 170 so I I can say that I, I, I like my size and yeah. uh, so so do some of my teammates so you know uh, I obviously just the just I just love that I'm able to overcome the open heart surgery and come out to the floor and just do something that I love. And this is what this game is all about as well with the Ronald McDonald House Charities as well right. to give back to the community. You mentioned your size. We were out in the newsroom kind of talking about throwing <laughs> down some dunks. What would it mean for you to throw down one of those dunks in Chicago in the McDonald's All-American game? That would be insane. You know, I've, on, I've only done it in practice, so if I could really get one in the game, you know, that's what I'm looking for. So uh, that would be unbelievable, and I would love it. And after this, you go on to Rocky Top to play for Pat Summit and the Tennessee Volunteers. What is that like to know that you're not only part of the most prestigious All-American game in sports, but also to be a part of a legacy program like the Tennessee Volunteers? 
It's unbelievable. It really is. Uh, I think Coach Pat Summit and uh, the coaching staff there is uh, by far one of the best coaching staffs in the country, and I'm looking forward to working with them and getting better and hopefully uh, progressing my game to my progressing my game to more more levels and higher levels and hopefully taking it to the WNBA. Well, Sierra, just to put it all in perspective, check out some of these names that have come before you to play in the McDonald's All-America game. You go down to 2004. That's a pretty good one in Candace Parker there. <laughs> I would say so. I would say so. Definitely one of the uh, top dogs in the country right now. Well, you can add yourself to that list. Sierra Burdick here before going up to Chicago for the McDonald's All-American Game. Congratulations thank and thank you for the time. Thank you.